For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to download Red Hat Linux Enterprise version 8 and install that operating system in order to practice the Linux version. So let's see that how you can do that. So first of all, uh, you need to register yourself as a personal account on the Red Hat site so that you can uh, use that login to download the trial version or the evolution version of the uh, RHL 8. So currently I am uh, just showing you how you can register first of all then you can download that uh, using the register ID. So uh, here you have to visit this red hat.com w app slash ugc register dot html uh, page then you can see that this is a screenshot uh, this is what you can see on the registering page okay after that you can just select the type of the account which is uh, personal then you can just create a red hat login uh, name so any um, name you can just uh, use it the uid the username then that is what used for login then after that it will ask you in the below page you have to provide your email address password and confirmation password and what is your uh, title uh, if you are using your company address then your first name last name and region where you are uh, country you are registering from and uh, um, provide your address if you want to fill the complete address you can also fill that and uh, city and state and phone number then after filling all of these details you can just submit that request then after that you will receive any confirmation email to your email address after that you have to just click on that uh, url or copy paste that url into your browser then it will activate your account so after activate you will see that your email confirmation your email address has been confirmed so this is what you have to register your uh, creating your account on the red dot site now go to access.redart.com slash downloads uh, page and click on start evolution so it will redirect to the new page and go here and click on try it then start your trial so here you have to key in your username and password then click on login so then it will redirect to the uh, trial uh, download page so here is your revolution ready and you can just read your uh, terms and conditions and uh, click on download or accept and uh, start the download so you need to agree this and click on agree and get started so now it will redirect to the your evolution start uh, download page now your download will begin shortly so either you have to wait uh, if download is not begin in a few minutes then you can just click on the start the download now uh, url then it will start the download so now let's see the page will redirect and the download will start so download is started let's wait for downloads to complete it's 8.8 .8 gb in size so after completion it will start the installation so it's about to complete the uh, download so it's almost uh, completed download is completed now let's start the installation so now you just click on the file and uh, create a new virtual machine so first of all i'm just going to create a folder which is called linux lab so in this folder i'm just move the vm so that it called uh, easy for me to identify so just click on virtual new virtual machine and select uh, advanced settings and click next and uh, here you don't need to do anything so this is the latest version just select next and here do not install any uh, os just select the os which is red hat linux 8 version here click next so now it will show the uh, name 
so you just rename it as per your recommendation so I'm just going to put RGL 8 underscore 3 then next now select your CPUs based on your hardware so currently I'm, uh, I will select two processors to two socket so it will come as four cores now you can set the uh, RAM as uh, 4 GB is enough but I am setting 8 GB now uh, select the NAT settings next and here select the appropriate settings now which is recommended is NVMe then next then create the hard disk so next and give the uh, size as per your requirement but uh, I just give the 40 GB is enough for me and store it in single uh, single file so easy to move to the any drives so that is a vmdk file name next and click on the customization and remove the uh, appropriate devices if you do not need any devices so uh, then click finish now the vm has been created so just move that vm to the linux lamp so let's edit that vm and attach the iso file so edit and click on the cd dvd drive and select the iso file here browse the location of the iso file so which is in downloads now select that rgl8 and uh, now click ok and power on the machine power on the virtual machine now just power on so it will start booting from the iso file so now it is started iso file so now if there are few settings which is called the testing and troubleshooting this is not required for now so we are just going ahead with the installation for now so just uh, go with the installation so it will take a little time to load the uh, initial initialization after that you can see the uh, screen for the installation steps After the screen load, you can just select the language for the keyboard and your uh, installation language which you would like to use it and click on continue. So now it will load one more screen. So here you have to set all of these things then click for the installation. So now we are going to set it up the uh, installation destination. So here we need to create the custom partitions so based on our requirement otherwise you can also do any auto partitions there is the options okay so just click on the installation the settings then click select the customization partitioning and click done so now here we are just going to create the partitions so click on plus sign so now first of all we are going to create the boot partition which is not a LVM which required the standard partition so which is 1 GB I am just going taking as and uh, now click again plus sign so again create the so you can see that that is a standard partition so not the LVM so the boot should be always standard partition now select the swap so now 4 GB I am just selecting here 4 GB and uh, so which is an LVM partition here so now click and say slash and click assign so here it will take entire space which is free so this is what we require now so we no need to create any external one as of now so if you need any external mount points you can just create it now click done and click accept changes so now partitions has been created so now we need to select the time zone so which time zone and click select and uh, click done now software installations if you require any software so you would like to install while installing the operating system you can select so i would like to select the legacy compatibility packages libraries so legacy unix compatibilities and uh, developer tools so which tools we may use for most of the times so that's why i select it and select the network settings so now if you want to assign a static IP address here itself, you can just switch on this network. And I have DHCP enabled, that's why I get the automatic IP address. So now I just go ahead and change this IPv4 settings, turn it as in a manual, then provide add the IP address. So I'm just going to give 201 IP address, which is 
48.201 and uh, network uh, network mask 255 255 255.0 then gateway 192 168 48.2 so this is the uh, settings as per my network configuration so you can just give the your dns uh, whatever the server you have dns server so dns and gateway ip same i'm just going to disable ipv6 here so i do not need ipv6 because i do not have ipv6 network okay so that's what that's it so if you want to change the name of the network also you can change it so now here i'm going to change my host name as well so change it and click on assign so apply so it will change the host name rh8 local domain so here there is no underscore will take so you have to just add iphone and then uh, apply so now host name is applied click done so now settings has been confirmed now we if you have the policy settings for the uh, sc linux you can assign some policy existing policies but you do not want to uh, switch on sc linux you can just turn it off so now set the root password root password should be strong so otherwise it won't accept so in case if it is weak password you have to click done done two times and i'm just click uh, creating the new user which is called ravi ankam uh, and uh, my username i would like to use it as a ravi and make it as administrator and provide its password then click done done that's it and begin the installation so that's it you, you set all of this because now you do not have any um, software uh, subscription from the red hat so i'm not giving any username and password to subscription so i'm just beginning the installation so now installation will take a little time so until that i will pass the um, recording then after uh, screen change i will start it again So now installation is completed click complete uh, then the system will reboot so reboot the machine system is rebooted now click on license and uh, agree the license agreement and click done so now if you have a subscription you can just subscribe to it otherwise you can just click on the finish configuration so now your system will boot again then it will boot and ask for the credentials so now we already created this user so you just click on that user and provide the password and click sign in so now you are into linux so now you have successfully installed and you are big in the red hat linux enterprise version 8 so you just uh, change the settings language settings and privacy settings according to your requirement and just um, begin the start you start using the enterprise linux and this is the introduction for using how you can use it you can just click close and you can just click on the menu you can see that uh, all the options here installed applications and everything you can just go to terminal and type cat slash etc red dot release so you can see that uh, what is the exact version of this one so which is 8.3 right exit you can just click on it just set now if you want to turn off you just click on the turn off button and power off that's it you have successfully installed the red hat linux 8.3 so thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses